This is part two of solving radical equations. We are going to move. Okay, so here there is two radicals, okay? And there's a number over here. Well, it's not a good idea to leave both radicals together. So what we're going to do is move one to the other side. So we're going to make it square root of 2x minus 7 equals 2 plus the square root of 9 minus x. All right. And we're going to square both sides. Square that. And this is not going to be pretty because we're squaring essentially a binomial. So that's 2x minus 7 on the left. But for the other one, let's do some side work. We're doing some side work. Okay, so this means I'm going to take the 2 plus the square root of 9 minus x and multiply by 2 plus the square root of 9 minus x. So you're going to do 2 times 2, which makes 4, and then 2 times that entire radical. So that makes it 2 root 9 minus x. You're going to do this again here. 9 minus x squared root nine times 2 is going to be 2 square root 9 minus x. And then lastly, you're going to do square root of 9 minus x times square root of 9 minus x. That's going to be square root of 9 minus x squared. All right. Now let's simplify that. It's going to be 4 plus 4 root 9 minus x. And here, the square root and the square cancel each other, and you just got 9 minus x. All right, so that's what I want to copy onto there, right? Because the 2 plus square root of 9 minus x squared is equal to this. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. So that's 4 plus 4 root 9 minus x plus 9 minus x. You might be wondering, why didn't I simplify first? Because I forgot. Okay. Now, now we're down to one radical. That means we can isolate that one radical. So let's move some stuff around. All right, so I have this 2x, and I have this minus x over here. I move it to the left. That's going to be 3x. I have a negative 7, and I have a 4 and a 9. So add 4 and 9 together. That's 13. And subtract 13 from negative 7. That'll be negative 20. And that's equal to 4 root 9 minus x. Okay, now up to this point, I've been telling you to isolate, isolate, isolate. Well, you actually don't have to. Uh, you don't have to divide that by 4 because, I don't know, maybe people would be less than confused if I divide by 4. So let's go ahead and divide by 4. All right, divide by 4. So that's going to be, I'm just going to leave it as that fraction, 3x minus 20 over 4. That's equal to the square root of 9 minus x. All right, now, now square both sides. Now square both sides. When I square both sides, I know I'm out of space up here. So that's going to be a big mess. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so 3x minus 20 squared. So that's going to be 9x squared minus 620 x plus 400 over 16. And that's equal to 9 minus x. OK, now I'm going to multiply by the 16. That's going to give me 9x squared minus 120x plus 400 equals 144 minus 16x. Now move everything to the left. That's going to be 9x squared. That's minus 16, so it's plus 16, so it's minus 104x and 400 minus 144. It's 256, yeah, 256. So it's plus 256 equals zero, and I am out of space. So let's put that over here. All right, uh, let's factor that. So it's 9x squared. So remember, this is going to be Lizzie method. So you're going to do 9 times 256, which is what? 9 times 256. Boy, this is my deal from here. 2,304. Oh, great. 2304 oh, and I want negative 104. Ugh. How about 72, 
2304 divided by 72. There! Goodness gracious. So negative 72 and negative 32. All right. That works. Negative 72 and negative 32. Wow, that was just unfriendly. All right. So let's go and factor that. So that's going to be x minus 72 over 9, x minus 32 over 9. All right? Remember, Lizzie method, you got to divide by that leading coefficient. So this is x minus 8. And that doesn't go in, so it's 9x minus 32. All right. So that means my answers are x equals 8 and x equals 32 over 9. Goodness gracious. All right. Continuing, let's remember what our original problem was. In the following minutes, please report to guidance. Joe Marcus Jenkins, Andrew Jenkins, Champ Johnson, Omarion Johnson, Renisha Hicks, Traylon Hooper. Please report to guidance. All right, so we are checking. This was the original problem, and we we're checking these two answers. So let's plug it in. So we plug the 8 in, all right? So, okay, I'm double checking. So it's 2 times 8 minus 7 minus 9 minus 8. Is that equal to 2? What's that? 2 times 8 is 16 minus 7 is 9. So it's square root of 9 minus square root of 1. So that's 3 minus 1. Yes, so the 8 works. Now let's plug in the 32 over 9. So square root of 2 times 32 over 9 minus 7. Is that equal to 9 minus 32 over 9? So that's 64 over 9. And what's that? 81 minus 32. 49. So you can use that calculator to do that. Uh, I didn't do this one. That turns out to be one. All right. And we're asked the question, are these equal to two? Well, that's one third. And that's going to be seven thirds. And that's not equal to two. That ends up being negative two. And it's not equal to two. All right, so we reject that one. So we reject the 32 ninths, the ugly answer. And the final answer is x equals 8. x equals 8. Yeah, that was definitely not enough space for that problem. <laughs> okay. And so these are going to be incredibly long, so you can see why it was in a separate video for just three problems. Okay, she gave us more space for this one. It's, I thought we could fit it, though. All right. M. So we square both sides. All right. So we, we couldn't isolate this radical because if we moved it over to the left, it would just be the other one that has it. All right. So when we square this, we get 4 minus 3x equals, and when we square that, we're going to get 1 plus 2 root 2 minus 2x plus 2 minus 2x. All right, if you're wondering how I got that, I'll go do that on the side over here. All right, so I got a little interrupted. Hopefully we'll get this back. So I'm showing you where I got that. All right, so it's negative 1 minus square root of 2 minus 2x. Square it means I multiply it by itself. So I'm going to do negative 1 times negative 1. That's positive 1. Right, and then negative 1 times negative root 2 minus 2x, so that's positive 2 minus root, positive root 2 minus 2x. Now I'm doing negative root 2 minus 2x times negative 1, so that's positive root 2 minus 2x. Now I'm doing negative root 2 minus 2x times negative root 2 minus 2x, that becomes plus root 2 minus 2x squared. All right. So let's clean that up. So it's 1 plus. There's two of those, so I put, put them together, 2 minus 2x. So it's 2 times square root of 2 minus 2x, plus that becomes 2 minus 2x. Let's go and combine those two. So it's going to be 3 minus 2x plus 2 root 2 minus 2x. 
So the only thing I really combined was the 1 and 2, and I just moved the negative 2x forward. All right. Well, so never mind. I forgot. <laughs> That's, this is where I stopped here. Okay. That's where I stopped, so let's not use that one. All right. Let's clean this up. So I'm going to move the 1 plus 2 to the left. So that's going to be, so that's 3. So I'm going to subtract 3 from 4. So that's 1. And then I have a negative 2x and I move it to the left. That's going to be plus or minus x. Right? Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. And I have the 2 root 2 minus 2x over here. All right. Well, I'm going to avoid the fraction this time. So I'm going to just square both sides. Okay, so whenever you have a multiplier on a radical, you can square it. You don't have to get rid of it. So I'm being lazy here because I'm just trying to avoid fractions. When I square 1 minus x, I get 1 minus 2x plus x squared. When I square this side, a 2 actually gets squared. So that turns into a 4. The square root, though, it, only the square root goes away. And I just get 4 minus 2. So I get this. So 2 squared is 4. When I square the square root, the square root goes away. So be careful of this. If this confuses you, then I suggest you make that fraction. But otherwise, you square the outside number and you only get rid of the radical. Okay, and this gets multiplied. So it's 1 minus 2x plus x squared equals 8 minus 8x. Now, I move everything to the left. So let's put this in a nice order. So it's x squared. So I add 8x, so that's plus 6x. I subtract the 8, so that's minus 7 equals 0. So that becomes x plus 7 and x minus 1 equals 0. That gives me x equals negative 7 and x equals 1. All right, so now we take this negative 7 and plug it in. So that's going to be square root of 4 minus 3 times negative 7. Is that equal to negative 1 minus square root of 2 minus 2x? Okay, I have a feeling I'm just going to bleed into that side and just leave it over there. All right, so that's going to be the square root of 4 plus 21. Is that equal to negative 1 minus square root? Oh, I forgot to plug in the negative 7. There should be a negative 7 over here. 2 minus 2 times negative 7. Well, that's square root of 25. Is that equal to this? That's going to be, what's that? That is positive 14. 16, so it's negative 1 minus the square root of 16. So it's negative 1 minus 4, and that's 5, and this is negative 5. So they don't work. So I have a feeling it's never going to work. All right. So let's check the other one. I run out of space, so I'm going to do it on separate paper. So I'm checking now a positive 1. All right. So that's going to be square root of 4 minus 3 times 1. Is that equal to negative 1 minus square root of 2 minus 2 times 1? All right, that's 4 minus 3. That's 2 minus 2. That's 1. That's 0. So, it's, so 1 is not equal to negative 1. So that one works. So we reject both of them. This one has no solution. <coughs> mm, excuse me. All right, final example. I'm just going to give it a, its own sheet of paper. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Square both sides. Square that. Square that. That's going to give me negative 7 minus 2x equals. Remember, that's going to be negative 4 minus x plus 2 root negative 4 minus x plus 1. All right. Ooh, the negative 4 minus x and plus 1 over to the left. Uh, so negative 2x turns into plus or minus x. Negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. Minus 1 is negative 4. Yeah. And then I have 2 root negative 4 minus x. 
square both sides. So that's a negative. Square that, square that. That's going to turn into x squared plus 8x plus 16. And that's 4 times negative 4 minus x. Remember, when I square this on the right-hand side, the 2 gets squared. But the square root and the 2 only cancel each other out. So that's a, I'm left with just the inside of the radical. Distribute on the right, so it's negative 16 minus 4x. I'm not doing anything with the left. Move everything to the left now. So that's going to be x squared plus 12x plus 32 equals 0. Factor, and I get x plus 8 times x plus 4 equals 0, giving me x equals negative 8 and x equals negative 4. Now let's test these out. Going back to the original, so square root of negative 7 minus 2 times negative 8. Is that equal to square root of negative 4 minus a negative 8 plus 1? So that's negative 7, that's plus 16. Alright. Uh, that's negative 4 plus 8 plus 1. So this is what, 9, square root of 9, is that equal to... That's 4 plus 1. That's 3. That's 2 plus 1. Yay, that worked. All right. So x equals negative 8 is fine. That works. Now let's plug in x equals negative 4. Oh, let's do that here. So it's square root of uh, negative 7 minus 2 times negative 4. Uh, is that equal to square root of negative 4 minus a negative 4? plus 1. So the square root of negative 7 plus 8 and that's going to be negative 4 plus 4. That's square root of 1. That's 0 plus 1. So yeah, that one works. 1 equals 1. So both of them are solutions to n. And that's the end of the video. Ooh, dog. And it won't let me stop the video.